All right, so before we put this motherboard inside of the gaming PC build, there's a couple of things that I do want to say about this motherboard that I do not like. And that is that you're going to need a USB drive and you're also going to need one of the little mini screwdrivers for the NVMe. That is not necessarily a big deal, but when you're paying this kind of money for something, you expect it to come with stuff like this. Make sure that the USB drive that you end up getting is at least 10 gigabytes because you are going to need Windows 11 for the new Intel 13th generation CPUs. The one that I have installed on this motherboard is the i7-13700K. A little bit different from the 13900K in the previous build but because of the 13th generation CPUs and how they operate, you are going to need to install Windows 11 as well as you're gonna to need to get some DDR5 RAM. I ended up getting 64 gigabytes because I build good computers. I do not build potato computers. So anyways, what this motherboard comes with is it does come with some really useful stuff, but that case is a huge spoil for everybody that ever builds a gaming PC because what this motherboard comes with is kind of like related to this gaming computer, but you know that portion of the case where you try to like have the wires, you know, the portion of the case with the wires where it's like one little box another little box and you literally got like you see all those little wires in there you have like a ton of little boxes for your power and your whatever case stuff that is what this is makes it a lot easier to plug all of those in to this rather than on the motherboard when you're inside of the computer but this Lee and Lee case it is one connector it already does that for you. It's the best case on this planet, not only because of the customization that it offers, but also because of its ease of build. So these are all the ports on the back of the motherboard. You got a display port, you got an HDMI port, you got two USB-Cs, you got some USBs, you know, you got everything that you're gonna end up needing for this motherboard. So inside the box, you get this little adapter, which is useful if you don't have a case like that. You also get the manual, which is gonna be your best friend if you're building your first computer. You also get the, whatever that is, and then you get some extra wires, and what I don't know what this thing is, but they're like two little stickers for something which I'm, I'm not, I've never had to use anything like that. You do get some extra wires. You get your little NVMe holder downer, which is already open because I do have my NVMe in that already. And then you get your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connector. So overall, I really like this motherboard. It has quite a few different NVMe options in there. I haven't turned it on, so I don't know if like there's a bunch of like RGB on the actual motherboard. I'm guessing that that is the case because ASUS is is one of my favorite companies as far as gaming PCs go. Actually, show you guys a little bit of a closer up if I didn't pick it up with the actual camera while it was on the tripod. You had all the connectors that you're gonna end up needing: your USBs, your fans and all of that kind of stuff where your graphics card goes you got up for 64 gigabytes and then the box this right here is definitely my favorite thing about asus their rgb application is by far my favorite and box does show a little bit of rgb going on there so these are all the specs for those of you that want to know the actual specs of this motherboard for obvious reasons. I wasn't going to mention all of that, 
the listing is going to tell you all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. That Lee and Lee cooler is pretty fire as well. What do we got going on up there? Got RGB, we're definitely gonna have to swap all that stuff. Pretty much the same as the uh, Asus liquid cooler. I don't see that much of a difference with the CPU. But, one thing that I do need to know, that is the 13700K, not the 13900K. So, yeah. I don't really I don't really know what to say because it's pretty much the same temperature but I do know that the 13900k runs much hotter so I don't know if that's because of the cooler or if they both run at the same temperature I don't really know but I'm downloading the RGB thing from Asus the armory crate so I can adjust the RGB on the CPU, the RAM, the GPU, the motherboard, and all that kind of stuff. And this is why I love ASUS. Their application is just so easy to use, man. Like, you know, all these like different options. And you just go on over here, hit color, select like blue, boom, blue. Come back over here, select orange, boom, orange. Fans. I would have to use their remote core. Come back over here, green, boom, green. But I enjoy the white. Save, exit, and boom, baby.